Hey guys, a couple quick tips on these Yamaha generators. This is just like the very popular Honda, but I actually prefer the Yamaha. I've got two of them. I used them all through Ian a couple years ago, and then I didn't really store them properly, so I had some issues when I went to use them for Milton. But I'll give you quick differences on this over the Honda, I believe. What I liked about the Yamaha, I'm a big Yamaha fan anyway, with the motorcycles and the boat motors and stuff I've had. But I love this really easy access fuel shut off. So when you go to store the things, you just flip the fuel off, run it dry, and you're good to go. As far as I know, the Honda equivalent does not have that. Everything else is virtually identical, other than the color. So what I ran into this time, because one, I shut the fuel off and it ran fine when I started it up this week. I put new gas in it. The gas was two years old and it ran fine. The other one was surging and acting up and wouldn't start well. So I started to rip into the carburetor right before Milton shows up. So here I am doing work on these things. But real quick, you can get in here by taking two screws out of this panel, as you can see, and this panel tilts out quickly. What I did was I pulled apart the bowl here. And as you can see the bolt on the bottom of that bowl right there, I dropped the bowl and I got lucky. The easiest way to do it is to remove this air filter box. Take this off, take the filter out. There's a screw inside the body. Mine was actually stuck and tore through the plastic hole, but I did kind of fix it. And then there's one screw outside here that holds the thing. Once that's out of the way, the bowl drops down easily and there's a tiny little jet in the post that drops vertically. In other words, the post drops vertically and this jet is actually in the side of the post. You can't miss it. Tiny brass jet, mine was gunked up, soaked it in alcohol, scrubbed it the toothbrush, came out really good, um, popped it back in there, um, put everything together, ran like a charm. So that was my problem. Now, a lot of people are taking the full carburetor off, which you may need to do as well, because apparently there's another jet on top and there's that assembly in there that, um, what is that thing, the throttle, uh, actuator you know what do you call it economy mode actuator thing so you got to remove that apparently to get to that jet on top so that you can watch another video for but you might want to try the shortcut first because that's where my bowl was gunked up with old fuel and my jet was gunked up and that solved my problem I just put some alcohol in there and washed it up like I said now secondarily uh, maintenance on these things is quite easy um, all I did was change the oil in both of them so here's your oil you can just pick the thing up and dump it into a pan like I did and it only takes like 0.4 quarts, so less than half a quart. So what I did to fill it up is I just tilt it over, you know, make it pour in it any easier. Don't pour too much, you can damage the engine. And then I leveled it back out. And as soon as I saw that the foil oil was right up to the lip here, as a matter of fact, I had a paper towel here. I let it drip out just ever so slightly and I was full, as long as you're on level ground, which I am. So I got that oil changed real quickly, easily, and I'm just gonna pop the cover back on. Then I'm gonna do the proper storage this time, and I'm going to add a little fuel additive, um, you know, to storage stuff, story, what do you call it, that uh, dry fuel stuff. And then I'm going to turn the fuel valves off, run them dry with the fuel additive in them, and then I should be good to go next time. It's gonna have fresh oil in both of them, Hopefully no gas gunked up and I should be turnkey next time. So I hope that helps you guys. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. I really like these Yamahas. I'll put a link down below to the Yamaha that I have. You can tie these together to make more power. I actually did it once, but I wasn't successful because I was trying to drive my 220 boat lift and it was just too much of a load. I did get it to work, but only in the down mode. In the up mode, it was too much of a surge. Anyhow, I did run the refrigerator. Uh, kept me going the whole time. It was three days. I was out from Wednesday, the storm night at eight o'clock in the evening till Saturday at three o'clock in the afternoon, longer than I thought. But these things sip the fuel, which is beautiful. They don't take a lot of fuel. They're easy to handle, maneuver around. Just sit, set it outside the garage so you can get your carbon monoxide, run your extension cord. And what I did is I back fled, fed the house. I just stuck a double mail into the socket. Be very careful. That double mail will kill you if you're touching that thing when it's live. So everything's gotta be off first and also shut your panel off completely, your main off. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Appreciate any likes and subscribes again. And um, that's it, oil changes and real quick carburetor fix and proper storage. Take care guys, appreciate it.